Okay, so we're going to do a, a fall, I don't know, I guess a fall makeover. And we're going to use this really dark hair color, Natural Instincts. It's not permanent, it's semi-permanent, so that way your hair doesn't completely fall out of your head. What I like to do first is just get a little petroleum jelly, something like that, and I like to get it all near the hairline so when you go to work the next day or you don't have hair dye all over your skin and um it's kind of it's kind of a nice little skin treatment too so get it all over especially the back of the neck because this always tends to kind of float down a little bit and i just get it all over the neck because i don't know it tends to drip there so okay i got the lines all around no makeup on obviously because after this i'm going to jump in the shower and then proceed okay so the next little trick that I have uh, before I mix this is okay my hair's already a little bit too toned you can tell um, and it's a mess right now and that's fine but I find um, it's 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 a little harsh if I do the whole thing so I'm literally gonna pick up all the center where it's still blonde and now I'm gonna pull out some pieces it's almost like doing reverse highlights so I'm going to pull out some pieces that I'm going to let go dark. And it's kind of what I did last time to get this two-toned. But now because we're fully into fall and almost October, I'm going to let these light pieces go dark. And then let's pick, pick a, I don't want too much from the front, but a little bit underneath from the front. That's fine. And then on this, like a little bit underneath. And then I still have all this. I better pick up some from the back. All this will still be light, like my highlights. I don't know. If I totally mess this up, I can just go and just dye the whole thing. Okay, so then I'm going to twist this up. I think I pulled enough down. Twist this up, and then I'm going to secure it here with a little clip. Kind of like that, so it's all bunched up. And then... Everything else, let's see, did I mess one up, kind of? Yeah, I get that in the clip. And then everything else should just be hanging straight down. It's not perfect. Okay, we get it. Okay, so this one, this color is dark brown. Uh, dark, dark brown, dark brown. The next thing I do, because things cost a ton of money lately, right? So, um, I put my thumb, so look at, like, this is supposed to be a whole bottle. Look, it, it's filled to there. So I take my thumb and I put it directly in the middle of it. And that's how much I'm going to pour out. That way it gives me two full treatments. So I have a ceramic mug here, or you want to use glass and I'm going to pour, pour. And then I look and see, is it at my thumb line yet? It's a little hair. No. So I can pour a little bit more. Is that my thumb line yet? No. Huh. Okay. Thumb line yet? Okay, yeah. Now it's at my thumb line. So I'm using exactly half. And then again, whoops, of course, they have to call while I'm doing <laughs> a video. Oh my goodness. Stop. Okay. Then grab your other stuff and you're going to do the same thing, but you just kind of have to eyeball it. So... We're going to open that, and then I'm going to try to just squirt out half the amount in the tube. And you can kind of see, like in your solution, you're just getting almost like a half and half mixture. And then I'll show you how much I poured in. So I've squeezed the tube to kind of the halfway mark right there. And if I look in the tube, look in the cup, it's kind of, it looks like a half and half consistency. So that's what you want. Okay, there goes the mixing brush I'm gonna use. Hold on. Okay. Okay, and now, oh my goodness. Someone's really trying to call me. So then we're gonna mix it really good. And I just mix it with this makeup brush. I just mix it with this makeup brush. So that's what we're doing now. Mix it really good so it has a good consistency. Okay, and then I just simply um, I'm going to paint my hair now. I'm just going to paint it. Here we go. Um, oh, you know what I should do? Because I got to do it like I always do it. So, 
and I'm not saying to do this. I'm just saying this is what I do with my hair. <laughs> and it's kind of, if because I do get a lot of ideas. This is really hard to open. Do I have my scissors in here? I get a lot of ideas from people online. I'm like, oh, I didn't think about doing it that way. Um, it does come with a little pair of gloves. Or, gosh, these are awful, but I'm going to wear them. They're just like, I don't know, the kind you see in what people wear in cafeterias. It's not really like a glove, but it's better than nothing. Okay, gloves are ready because we're going to use those in a second. Okay, so I paint it on at first so I don't get necessarily the areas I don't want to get. So anything, though, that's laying down is up for grabs. Now, notice I'm not going all the way to the bottom, and I'm just having to... I mean, do it by feel in the back, quite honestly. And you know, that's how I cut my hair, too. Um, and it doesn't have to be completely, I don't feel like completely even, because this is going to be under the hair. I hope this isn't a mistake, me doing these front parts. But, oh well, I guess we'll find out. Okay. And um, so I paint the hard to get to parts. So paint, paint, paint. Okay. And then get around the hairline because I hate when I don't get these little sections. The hairline here. Okay. I think I kind of got this. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not going to turn out right. And if it doesn't, I will just color my whole hair and I don't care because I like to go darker in the fall and winter and summertime comes and I just bleach it out and then I ruin my hair and I cut it all off and I start all over again. Okay. Did I get what I wanted? Okay. Maybe need, need to go right near those areas again, just to make sure I got it. And if I get the roots of the hairs that I'm not trying to color, it's okay because it's normal to have that kind of dark root look with, um, you know, blonde hair coming out, I guess. So I don't mind if I kind of get it in the roots a little bit. It's okay. See, I'm getting kind of in the roots a little bit there. I'm getting all the way up to here. Okay. Then, um, why I put my gloves on, I don't want to set this down where it's going to make a mess, but Oh, I know. I'll just put it in my cup. Then we're going to grab the hair color. I'm just dipping down into the coffee cup now with my hands. And then I get it just right on the rest of the hair because it'll take too long to paint it. So I'm literally like just massaging it in like when you are in the shower and you shampoo your hair. That's what I'm doing. So we're just working this in. You know, sometimes I put the uh, petroleum jelly or the Vaseline on my ears. I think I forgot to do that this time, but that's okay. That's a nice thing, too, about semi-permanent hair color because, I mean, it will stain the skin, but I think it's a little bit easier to wash off. And we're just kind of... And then I kind of work it in a little bit to these roots that I'm not getting. Again, just to kind of blend it in with the brush didn't get kind of... Blend it in there. This is either going to look great or it's going to look ridiculous. So I'm glad. That's another reason why it's good to like not make the whole bottle and save half of it in case you're like, ugh. And then you can just put the rest of the solution on the parts you didn't get. But we're going to try this out. And really kind of get in there and um, massage it in because, um, or else you can get patchy parts. And so you want to just keep working it in so you don't get a patchy part. Just keep rubbing around, massaging, so you don't get a patchy part. Just work it up into there. Yep. I think I've coated it pretty well at this point. Yeah, I was in the grocery store, and the lady in front of me, you could tell, like, she forgets to, here, like, here, like, rub it right in there. Um, her hair was all colored except this back of the crown right there. There was no color and it just looked so awful. I was, I was like, cause there was no other growth anywhere else. And that poor lady, I was like, Oh, she probably doesn't know to like get it right here and work it in. Don't just do the ends anyway. 
Okay. The weird thing is, this isn't really getting that dark. I find... Did I mix the right stuff? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. I don't know. By now, it's usually, like, really dark. So this is kind of weird. But I'm going to let it set a while. Oh, well. Got a little bit on the roots here. But that's okay. Because it's just going to give a, a blended effect, hopefully. Hope I didn't mess that up too much. We'll see. And I... Okay, trying to get the rest off my gloves so I don't waste any. Okay, so I think that's all we're going to get. And now I usually let this sit because it's semi-permanent. I don't think it's as damaging to the hair. So I'm going to let it sit a good 30 minutes. I'm going to wash it out, blow dry it, and on the next video, you'll see how it turned out. And then we'll do like a little fall makeover with it. Okay, so we're going to take this glove off so I can rinse everything out. And I'll see you on the next video so you can see the rest. I'll say part two.